Blame Brett by the Beaches. <laughs> Place your first finger on the sixth string at the fifth fret. Place your third finger on the fifth string at the seventh fret. And we're going to use right hand palm eating to tighten up the sound. Strum that A5 chord eight times. Now, when it comes to right hand palm muting, if this technique is new to you, take the heel of your right hand and place it on the strings just to the left hand side of the bridge. So instead of hearing the strings played wide open, they're now going to sound like this. It tightens up the sound. Okay, so A5 for eight strums, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all downward strums with the pick. Move it up two frets to the seventh and ninth frets, and you have B5, eight strums. And then up to C sharp five or eight plus eight. five first finger on the sixth string ninth fret third finger on the fifth string eleventh fret so let's put those four measures together the next four measures Sixth and fifth strings, eight strums using right hand palm muting, all downward strums. Move that chord up to the seventh and ninth frets on the sixth and fifth strings. Eight strums, C sharp five, ninth and eleventh. And then up to E five at the twelfth and fourteenth frets. For eight strums and those four measures. are the same as the previous eight. We have seventh fret, place your third finger on the fourth string ninth fret and play of the pre-chorus, and then we're going to go up to this G-sharp 5 chord, and then we have the chorus, and you can play this with no palm muting, A5 for 8 strums, use all downward strums of the pick, and then B5, 8 strums. 
strong C sharp 5 8 and then E5 up to 12th fret for 8 that was one round play that for four rounds and then we have Extended towards the end of the song. And then Leander plays this melody that goes... Same string. 10, 12, 10, 9, and then you can move to your uh, third string, 11th fret, grab that with your third finger. So, right there, we're going to shift uh, using our first finger from the 10th position to the 9th. So, shift back to the 9th, and then grab that third string at the 11th fret, and then we have. Four notes on the third string, nine, nine, eight, eight. Play all of those notes with your first finger, your index finger on your left hand, and that's followed by. We've got four notes on the fourth string, 11, 11, nine, nine. And you can play them with your third and first fingers. string 11th fret, move up to the 3rd string 9th fret, and back to the 4th string 11th fret, and then 4th string 9th fret, 5th string 11th fret. Now shift up on your 5th string with your 3rd finger and play 12, 12, and then 4 11s, and then 1 note at the 9th. So... Play it eight times in a row. And then third string, ninth fret. Uh, you can grab it with your index finger, your first finger, and play eight. Those four measures. And then for the pre chorus, I've got. Finger. 
Then you can reach over with your middle finger, your second finger, and grab the fifth string at the seventh fret. Back to the third string, sixth fret. Then reach back with your middle finger, grab the sixth fret of the fifth string. So six, six, seven. Six, six, six. And then six, six, seven. Six, six, seven. So. Six, six, seven, and then eight, eight, seven, and I use my third finger to grab the third string at the eighth fret, middle finger as usual grabs the fifth string at the seventh fret, and then you can play octaves, all downward strumming, you're going to play eight, 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 e